We get a delivery from Fair Share Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays usually. The meals benefit a variety. We serve over 4,000 meals a month. That's breakfast and lunches. So it's homeless and disadvantaged for a variety of reasons. So to be able to distribute good fruit and veg for them to be able to take home and use themselves or use with their families or just to be able to eat raw, you can't, can't replace that. Fair Share is a community organisation that started in 2000. Um, we're a group of people, largely volunteers, that get together to take food that would otherwise be thrown out and make meals out of it to provide for charities helping the homeless and hungry in Melbourne. But in doing so, we're saving 500 tonnes a year of food that's perfectly fit for human consumption from going to landfill. Our goal now is to make a million meals a year and to give those away to charities that are helping people in need. There is so much more food that could be collected if there were more drivers. I'm proud to be part of that organisation, even in a very small role that I have. Because our product's a fresh product, we, we bring new bread to the shop every day. Um, we don't sell second-hand bread. We use as much as we can in the cafe for toast and, and, other, and other dishes. But after that, it's, it's wasted. Um, and we would prefer to give it away to somebody who can make use of it rather than having to dispose of it ourselves. And ethically, it's, it's great for us to, to know that it's going somewhere where it's being used because it is still a, it's still a good product. We go through uh, quite a substantial amount of fruit every week. Uh, we um, have a corporate client base who require top quality fruit. Uh, we have a pick pack operation and any fruit that is scratched or dented, a bit bruised, whatever the case might be, we won't give to our corporate clients. We'll package that in these boxes, 180 to 300 boxes a week. So a substantial amount, uh, probably looking upwards of two tonne worth of fruit. It works for us and uh, fortunately uh, very beneficial for fair share and the needy as well. We try and take any food that is, you know, safely packaged, safely kept up until the time people give it to us. Firstly, we try and have the most nutritious packages as possible. So we try and get as much protein and fibre into the food. We also try and make it as home cooked as possible. But main things we do are um, portable packages in pastry, like quiches and pies and sausage rolls. We do lots of wet food, like um, casseroles and pastas and that sort of thing, which are cryovac packed, safely packed once they're cooked. We estimate around 3,000 volunteers coming through our kitchen. In the morning we have regular volunteers who come in and often they come early because they just love being here I guess, um, and they work with whatever food we've got. In the afternoon we tend to have a couple of uh, regular volunteers with corporate groups coming in the afternoon. They have to be trained on the job. Um, given OCK health and safety training and food safety training on the job and then we um, guide them to do different tasks that we decide on with the food that we get in in the morning. But I think just the fact that people are working together for the same cause is a very powerful thing. So the commitment of our volunteers is just amazingly important. The benefits for volunteers as a work group, it's it's important to, from a cultural perspective within our company and to be able to give something back to the communities that we work within. It also makes them feel part of the company as well when they, they see the company is so much behind a good cause like this. And I feel like I am personally giving something back not only to the company but also the broader community. This gave me a great opportunity to be around positive people and to do something for the community, put something back, as, as simple as that may sound. And it's fantastic. It's a really great environment.